Hello friends, in this video I want to give you an introduction of a really great framework in the web development which is Angular. So this video is intended for people who doesn't know anything about Angular or they just heard about the name of Angular and they want to explore it. So I recommend that you can start from this video. This will be your starting point of learning Angular if you wish to or in general if you just want to know about the framework, what it is and what uh, are the characteristics of the framework, you can also watch this video. So what is the Angular framework? Let's try to understand so in a simple language angular is a front-end web framework it is a front-end specific it is not intended for the back-end you can design develop the front-end uh, using the angular framework it allows you to build the uh, uis the web pages css all those things you can do all the front-end related things you can do with the help of angular it is not for back-end then if I have to explain the Angular to a new person or to kid, I can say that Angular is a tool that helps the people to make a websites and apps. It's like a set of building blocks that programmers can use to create a things like buttons, forms, and all the interactive features. Angular makes it very easier for programmers to organize and manage their code so they can create a website and apps more quickly and with a fewer mistakes. And that's a advantage we get with the framework like Angular. Think of it like a set of instructions that helps you to build a really cool Lego castle. So it can be like a blocks of a Legos and uh, Angular provides you an instruction that how using those blocks you can build a something monumental, something like a castle of a Lego that you usually do. Without the instruction, it would be much harder for anyone to figure out how to put the pieces together and form something which is attractive, which is something really uh, good looking so it's similar with angular it provides your instruction it provides your set of tools and the mechanism using which you can build the smaller smaller things you have and uh, those smaller things ultimately you can integrate and uh, ultimately you can build something which is very awesome and that the end users can use so let's try to understand the journey of angular since its beginning since its inception in the 2010 so angular is a popular open source front-end web application framework remember it's a completely open source there is nothing licenses or you don't have to pay anything to google or you don't have to purchase any licenses uh, and it was first released in the 2010 it was initially created by the google developers and uh, they were working on a project to simplify the process of building a dynamic web application so they had this motive they wanted to simplify this process of building the web application it was very complicated when you uh, grow your application and uh, when it start to scale up maintaining the code maintaining the things and logic all those things it becomes really complicated that's why they wanted to simplify this process they want to make it more modular so that the code irrespective of how big your application grows the code will be always maintainable the first version of angular known as angular js was based on the model view controller architecture pattern uh, so that was a model view controller architecture pattern that was for the angular js but now we have moved far away from the angular js uh, now we are angular so remember angular js and angular both are the separate things don't get confused angular js was a concept the first concept that uh, uh, that was that started back in the 2010 and uh, that was the first version they called it angular js but then angular is itself is a different and very advanced compared to what there was in angular js and now today at this time angular js is completely outdated it's deprecated no one uses it and there is no point it just from the point of history uh, to know that angular js was a first name and angular js was model view controller architecture and the angular is a model view view controller it's a model view and view controller remember that's a there's a difference between model view controller and the model view view controller so it gained a popularity because of this nature and it offered a features like data binding dependency injection which made it easier to build a complex application with a less code so angular js it was like a, a cdn you just import one javascript library in your uh, in the html project and it would work and the features that they offered that time was a data binding dependency injection data binding allows you to bind the data with your html with your view and directly with the javascript that was a really cool feature we still have and it's far more advanced and grown now so in 2016 a major step a major milestone came for uh, angular where they introduced the angular with a typescript and uh, they called the version angular 2 and that's where the angular just shifted it shifted from just a simple plain javascript library to a, a framework a standalone framework this new feature was completely right of the framework and introduced a more modern and the modular architecture it also incorporated the features like ahead of a time compilation and improve the performance this is a really good concept and uh, this is proprietary now only in the uh, angular framework at least i know that i have a time compilation it allows you a uh, very good performances 
in, in building and rendering your web application. Since then, Google has continued to release updates to Angular with the most recent version being the Angular 15 as of now in 2023. Angular 15 is a stable release and uh, they uh, introduce every release in after every three months. So uh, every year, like they have around four releases. So this number is going to change very quickly now. The framework has become one of the most popular choices for building web application with a large and active community of developers contributing to its ongoing development and the improvement. There is a very huge community for the Angular and that will happen because of its popularity and ease of use. So let's try to understand what are the benefits that we get with the Angular. So it's a modular architecture. Angular encourages developers to organize their code into modular components, which makes it easier to manage and maintain the large projects. Reusability with the Angular project, developers can create a reusable code components that can be used across multiple projects, saving the time and the efforts. It helps to increase the productivity. Angular provides a wide range of tools and features that makes it faster and to is fast and easier to build a high quality websites so you it has the angular cli which basically generates a code based on the commands and now thanks to a vs code extension and the open source community that has become more easier again with uh, other plugins and integration with the vs code you can write the angular code very fast to generate some code automatically improved performance angular includes a built-in feature that helps optimize the websites and the app performance such as lazy loading ahead of time compilation ev renderer so these things remember these are very important concept lazy loading ahead of a time compilation every render these are the only present uh, as of now only present in the angular and that really helps you know um, improving the performance of application performance i'm referring to response time rendering time data loading all those things strong community as i am saying angular has a very large and active community of developers who share their knowledge provide support to each other contribute to ongoing development of the framework that helps this framework to sustain and really see because of this community angular has a very bright future overall angular helps developers to create a better website apps faster main thing if i have to tell it helps to improve the performance and the maintainability so this is a journey of Angular in a nutshell. It started in the 2010 with the plain JavaScript library. Then in 2016, they introduced a TypeScript. They wrote the entire application in a TypeScript. Then the reduction of the bundle size, they reintroduced that for optimizing performance to reduce the size of the artifacts that are generated, which are rendered in the browser ultimately. Then they keep on adding the add-on features, introducing the feature complete framework, virtual scrolling, drag drop, uh, animations, and uh, again, focused on the performance optimization. Then in the 2020, a major breakthrough came in the form of an EV render which uh, which also helps to compile a code very fast and uh, have the uh, real DOM there is a very interesting topic of the virtual DOM and the real DOM uh, if you google about it you will find it I really like that topic uh, react uses a virtual DOM Angular uses a real DOM but real DOM is a pretty fast compared to a virtual and that has a reason and that's very interesting topic and I think that could be another separate detail, detailed tutorial on it uh, Angular 11 faster builds and loading. Then in uh, Angular 12, the styling improvements happened. Uh, the support for the SCSS and other CSS preprocessor was extended in the 2021 in the uh, Angular 12 release. And now we are uh, like Angular 14 and 15 now. One recent uh, feature which we have with Angular 15 is there's a concept of signal which allows you to write a synchronous code directly without uh, much dependency on the RxJS. It's built on top of RxJS, but with the help of signals, it has become uh, easy to write the asynchronous code. Now let's try to understand the what are the pros and cons. There are many pros, cons. I feel they are not that much, or they are very minor, or some are like individual opinions of the people. So pros, Angular JS codes are unit testable. You can test each and every code. You don't need to compile the entire code to test it. Dependency injection is a highly reusable. Dependency injection is a really great. Uh, uh, design pattern in the programming world and that is uh, being a core part of angular angular decreases the amount of code due to a two-way binding that's really good feature if you don't know about it i recommend to watch my another tutorial on the data binding the design architecture makes a program more located develop a code more easily and that's really true for angular the customization flexibility falls with the angular uh, this is up to some extent people who don't want to uh, you know go deep down into a framework and do a customization that's this point I talk about if you want to customize the framework itself that's there you have some limitation you can extend it but you cannot go into a core of it and customize it as compared to react or view angular learning curve is a steeper so yeah that's true learning angular is a little complicated it takes some it's not a complicated i won't uh, that's not a correct to say it's a uh, it takes the time taking for someone because you need to understand some concept which are specific to angular likes the templates component um, the uh, services 
and so many things are decorators uh, types of decorators are also there so those things are specific to angular that you need to understand it got limited seo options the minimal accessibility for search engine so this is i really feel is a, as a con like the all of the other points of hill they are like uh, opinions of some developers but the seo one is something that we can uh, cumulatively all of us can uh, combinedly agree on it so angular this is some uh, this is a topic that angular develop uh, angular community is also focus on improving the seo optimization of the application one needs to learn a typescript to use angular yes that's true and you need to learn that's not a con actually it is a little complex it depends as i said it you need to learn the concept specific angular it takes some some time and that's why you may feel it is a little complex again individual specific opinion uh, work well with a single page application and that's a fundamental intention behind angular you need to have a single page application it allows a fast software development life cycle requires a less code it is a perfect for testing it is a model view view controller architecture interactivity is a pretty robust slow display great number of components if it's not implemented properly so if you are not using a design power patterns correctly it may result in a slow performance and that's like happens with every form framework you cannot blame a framework for that if you are not using anything properly with a uh, ideal way that's a you know mess you will result into that's inevitable it is not like it's applicable to everything poor seo option that's true that's a real con we can say so these are the popular websites or the application that are built in angular so youtube that we use in our day to day life now everyone uses it it is built in angular it is powered by angular the guardian website it is using a angular it's completely built in a angular uh, the job hunting site upwork it's also in angular paypal the weather channel jet blue and the sky store mobile loader these are the very popular examples even i was uh, when i got to know about this i was amazed about the power of angular uh, so see youtube having so many users and so much of uh, data request and it's uh, like a, a data rendering things it has but uh, how efficiently if you can can scale the application to any level netflix my personal favorite this has i mean i'm i'm, I'm really fan of a netflix ui and uh, the way netflix ui is built it's very robust uh, it's very quick and it's very clean and that i it is built in angular so thank you for watching this video and i hope the, this may give you idea about what angular is if you are interested to know more i have a series of tutorial on it thank you